when it comes to technical stakeholders, as we discussed already, they are in the solution space. So they try and give the, so you have it, even a data architect, people who actually come up with a data model, lay the data dictionary, understand how the different uh, entities within the uh, data architecture, you know, interact with each other, what kind of relationships they have. And then you've got the technical architect who are the, the persons who would uh, come up with the architecture, both in terms of solution and come up with how that, what are the different types of interfaces that are required for us? What kind of um, um, integration is required with a third party vendor product or application? How does this say it? What kind of APIs we need to work with? All of these, the class diagrams, the kind of um, a solution architecture, all of that would be worked out by the technical architect and the solution architect. And the database administrator, as you all know, is basically the person who would administer your database. So they make sure that it is not uh, um, accessible to people who are not supposed to access, who are not authorized. So they make it really um, secure from the point of view of the access and the point of view of how you're storing the data, make sure that it's all well-maintained and normalized and all that stuff. So basically those are the DBAs is what we call, again, part of the technical stakeholders. And when it comes to development team, as I mentioned, development team is all the team members who are working for the particular product in sprints, in iteration. So that, that could be the developers, the testers, uh, analysts, designers, architects, all of them. So the designers, solution testers. Again, testing could be a multifold. We're, talking, we're going to talk about the software testing, especially in the agile context later. Um, so you, could, you have got functional testers, you've got performance testing, you've got load testing, security testing, uh, penetration testing, pen test is what we call, um, which is uh, about uh, the ethical, to prevent the hacking. So ethical hacking is involved in that. So all kinds of different tests are involved to make sure. And then obviously the most important thing for the success with Agile is automation testing. How you, you can really automate the whole of the testing process all the way from creating the test cases down through to execution of tests, reporting that, and then being able to assign that to somebody and closing the defects. Again, team leaders, module leaders, tech leaders, tech lead, whatever you call them as. So different types of these different uh, um, you know, leaders and uh, people who can lead the teams. Again, team lead, technical lead, functional lead, module lead. Subject matter expert, again, within if you have got a project to do with healthcare, the subject matter expert is, um, is, is uh, you know, very knowledgeable and experienced within the healthcare. Similarly, if it is about retail. So each of those, they bring the domain expertise into the, into the fore, onto the table, make sure that all the, um, the, the documentation, all the requirements, the solution is actually kind of fitting in with respect to the overall frame of the domain and, and the, um, the application logic. So that's the SME contribution. And the end users, well, do you want to call them as, you know, the development team, not necessarily, but then they're stakeholders within the development. So whenever, and that's the beauty of Agile, you're actually trying to engage the customers, engage the end users into the development. So as and when you're ready with something, you'll be kind of showcasing that to the customers and the users so they can give the feedback immediately. So you don't, you're not really, you're failing fast. That's the important thing with Agile. And of course, the business analyst is also very, you know, critical part within the development team because they work with the um, technical stakeholders, they work with the project stakeholders and the business stakeholders and the customers and users and make sure that the requirements are aligned to the needs of these different stakeholders. So that is in, in a nutshell, that is in a kind of a, a quick overview about the different stakeholders that you typically have within the agile context that you need to work with. So important thing to note is that some of these operate in the problem space um, in terms of the business, the, 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 the defining the problem and then identifying the opportunities like the business stakeholders and the, maybe some of the project stakeholders too, whereas some of the others operate in the solution space and the solution domain, trying to implement the solution, trying to actually address those problems that have been um, identified and prioritized by the business and the product team. So that's pretty much what is important.